Hey there, this is Christina Johnson, Certified Transformational Nutrition Coach and owner of Christina Johnson Wellness. And I wanted to share with you today a few ideas that I have for healthy snacks that I like to take with me when I'm traveling. My husband and I are actually getting ready to go on a little mini road trip this weekend. Um, we are going to North Dakota, which I know is not the most probably popular travel destination, but we just love to travel and explore new places. And you know, a few years ago we decided that we want to challenge ourselves to try and get to all 50 states together. And so we realized we've been to a lot of the states in like the upper Midwest part of the country, but we've never been to North Dakota. So we decided why not just take a long weekend and head there. So as we're getting ready to go, I always plan food in advance for any kind of traveling that we do. And so I'm getting some snacks together and some food together and so I figured it might be helpful to you to just share with you um, kind of how I plan snacks for traveling. Now this is just a short trip, we're going to be on for like three and a half, four days. So you know I'm not bringing a lot of food. So what I thought would be helpful was to type up a list of 11 different snack ideas that I often bring with me when I'm traveling. And then I also thought it might be nice if I gave you a couple recipes to go along with it because there are these um, kind of recipes for little like protein energy bites that are super easy to make. They're no bake and they travel really well and they're just a good source of protein and fat and they taste good. So what I did was I typed up a list of my 11 favorite snacks and the two recipes um, and just put that together to share with you. So if you're at all interested in that, just go to christinajohnsonwellness.com forward slash snacks and you can let me know what email address you want me to send it to and I'll send you those 11 snack ideas as well as the recipes. But for now, I want to give you some ideas as well. So here's a few things that we always take with. I almost always bring fruit with me. It's just an easy thing. So I've got my big bag of grapes here that are washed and ready to go. Um, I also picked up a few plums. I saw them at the store yesterday. They were on sale and looked good. Um, Typically, I feel like apples and grapes travel the easiest, so that's what we often bring. Um, but we'll bring other things as well. I really love berries, but I feel like they just don't travel very well, so we don't often bring that. So that's one thing that I'm bringing along this week. Um, the other thing that we always do is just cut up some vegetables. So I have some cut up celery and cut up carrots. Um, because we had those on hand, we often will bring broccoli and cauliflower as well. But I will be honest, cut up vegetables to me is not super exciting. And so I like to have something to dip it in to make it a little bit more interesting. So we grabbed some of these holy guacamole. They're the mini guacamole packs and we'll just grab a few to take with this weekend. Um, we find this big box of them at Costco. But they're great because they're a perfect serving size and um, the carrots and celery I think go great with the guacamole. Another thing that we'll often get um, to dip vegetables in when we're traveling is hummus. There's my favorite one is at Trader Joe's. They have this cilantro jalapeno uh, flavored hummus that's delicious, but really any hummus is good. So that's another thing. Another idea, and we'll probably take this this weekend, is a jar of sunflower seed butter because I love to dip my celery in that. Um, so those are just a few ideas of vegetables and dips that usually travel pretty well and just are a good healthy snack to have on hand. I will say I don't often like to use these um, like plastic bags, but when we're traveling, I feel like I just make a few exceptions and so using plastic is an exception I make when I'm traveling. Okay, another thing that you can bring on traveling trips is homemade trail mix. We're not doing this this time, but a lot of times what I'll do is just grab like two to three different kinds of nuts and throw that together, get some dried fruit. Be sure when you're buying dried fruit that you get the unsweetened dried fruit um, because dried fruit already is a pretty concentrated source of sugar and so you don't really want to have extra sugar added to it. Um, you can also throw in the trail mix some um, like unsweetened coconut flakes. That's a good addition. Maybe some dark chocolate chips. Um, some seeds like pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds are nice to put in there as well. Another thing that I like to add to my trail mix is cut up pieces of beef jerky. And so you just throw that all together and it's just an easy quick snack to have in the car. 
Another thing that I really like to bring when I'm traveling is beef jerky. So we will oftentimes make our own beef jerky and just dehydrate it and have it with us. But the in, it's pretty common anymore in the stores to find some decent quality brands of beef, beef jerky. You want to be careful. A lot of the typical ones, uh, you know, they either have gluten, they have a lot of like just preservatives and chemicals that you don't really want to eat. A lot of them have a lot of extra sugar added to them. So just look for a fairly decent brand of beef jerky that, um, you know, is gluten-free, is lower in sugar, and just doesn't have a huge list of random things in the ingredients. And then I would be remiss if I didn't share that I always, when I'm traveling, bring some dark chocolate. So I have a couple. These are two of my favorite kinds of dark chocolate that I will be bringing with this weekend. When you're buying dark chocolate, just look for 70% or higher and keep it in the cooler as well. We've learned the hard way not to keep that in the car when we're traveling in the summer because it melts pretty easily. So those are a few things we like to bring. The other thing is water. You know, I know it seems obvious, but it's really easy when we're traveling to not get enough water. And so we, we probably bring three to four bottles of water for each my husband and I for every day that we're traveling because oftentimes you know a lot of times when you're in the car and you're just kind of bored and snacky it's easy to turn to food but if you're just drinking water constantly um, it can alleviate some of that snacking so and I prefer when I buy bottled water which I don't often but when I do I like to get um, spring water so those are a few snack ideas that I have for things that you can take with you on road trips. I have a few other ideas, like I mentioned, those um, like protein energy bites. And so if you would like to get my list of all 11 ideas plus those recipes, then just go to christinajohnsonwellness.com forward slash forward slash snacks and I will email to you that list with the recipes. You know, the other thing I just want to share is that my, kind of my philosophy when I'm traveling, when we're traveling, when we're, you know, on vacation, I don't always eat as carefully as I do normally. But here's the thing, if I'm eating a bunch of junk and things that my body's not used to when I'm traveling, then I don't feel good. I start to feel tired, I just feel kind of weighed down and bloated, um, I don't sleep as well, and so that's not fun either. When I'm in traveling and on vacation, I want to enjoy my time. So I really like to balance traveling with eating healthy, but also you know being able to enjoy some things that I don't normally do. And so that's why I like to have healthy snacks with me, so that throughout the day I can be eating healthy things that give me energy and help me feel good so that when we do splurge um, then it just it doesn't take as much of a toll on my energy and how I'm feeling and so like for last summer when we went to Michigan we my husband and I you know went out for a gluten-free pizza that was a great way that we splurge something we don't normally do and we also when we were in Mackinac Island got some homemade fudge so those are th ways that we splurge but then we also bring food along every day to make our own breakfast and oftentimes lunch and so I just think when we're traveling, it's kind of, it's just finding that balance of eating healthy so that you feel good, but then also being able to kind of enjoy wherever you're at and enjoy um, whatever particular area is known for and to just kind of immerse yourself in the food of the area. So that's kind of how I approach traveling. I am curious, if you have any other favorite travel snacks that you often bring, will you type them into the comments? I'd love to get ideas from other people on what some of your go-to snacks are. I know there's tons of things out there, lots of things that I didn't include, so I'd be um, really just interested to see what you like to bring with you as well. So if you have any questions or any further comments, please type them below. Remember to go to christinajohnsonwellness.com forward slash snacks if you want the list of all 11 um, of my healthy snack ideas plus the two recipes. And I hope you have a great weekend, and I will talk to you again next week after we're back from North Dakota. Bye.